welcome back to my channel as in tell by the title down below in this video we're going to be making a chicken and vegetable noodle soup um, this is a very basic go-to recipe of mine we can, I'm doing it in the slow cooker you can do it in the slow cooker on the stove top but I'm just going to chuck everything in the slow cooker and then I just need to worry about it until about the last half hour to an hour before we're ready to eat I'll chuck in a couple more ingredients and then Bob's your uncle dinner is done so I'll show you guys what I've got started already all right so in the slow cooker pot already what we got is one sweet potato two white potatoes two large um, carrots one large onion one stalk of celery and about six cloves of garlic um, Normally I would always add ginger as well, like a really nice decent size of ginger and do them in thin strips, but I didn't order any. We don't have any, so that's fine. No ginger today. Um, also what I've got prepared is one lemon here from my mum's garden. I just juiced it. I'm just going to strain it before I tip it in because there is a few small seeds floating around. I got two chicken breasts on my board ready to go and all we're going to do is chuck in all of our seasonings, other ingredients, the water, the chicken, stir it and then it will get cooking. Alright just excuse all the finger marks and stuff there. So I'm just going to add in the seasonings. We've got some coriander seed ground. I'm going to do about a teaspoon. Some ground paprika about a teaspoon. Some dried parsley. This is another thing. I normally always use fresh herbs. I don't have any fresh herbs. So I'm going to go in for about a tablespoon of dried parsley. But yeah, if I had parsley, coriander and thyme fresh, I would definitely opt for the fresh and leave out the dried. Dried thyme, about a tablespoon as well. And now we do have some fennel seeds here. I'm going to add in about a tablespoon, but the whole seeds. So I'm going to use a mortar and pestle for that in just one minute. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of white pepper. And also I'm going to grind in a teaspoon of regular black pepper. I'm not going to add any salt um, right at the end. Just before serving, I'll add in some salt. But otherwise, yeah, no salt for now. <laughs> so just here, I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of the fennel seeds. And I'm just going to grind them. You can get the fennel seeds already ground. I just brought the wrong one. <laughs> So add them in this is the chicken stock powder that we use if you're using liquid stock you don't need to add the stock powder this is how I'm using my stock so I'm gonna add three heaped teaspoons so yeah if you're using liquid stock don't worry about stock powder I'm just gonna be adding water and with the stock powder that's going to make liquid stock one two three Four mugs of water which would um like just our coffee mugs which will then be roughly about five cups of water almost I forgot about this lemon so like I said I've already squeezed this lemon from my parents garden but there's some fine seeds so I'm just going through the strainer and it's the whole juice of that lemon as well is going in and besides from the last couple of ingredients I think we're pretty much good so I'm just going to give this a mix so I'm just going to give this a mix um, and yeah, like I said, we'll add in a couple of ingredients near the end. Um, also, normally I'll add zucchini, but they're just unavailable in my area at the moment, which is a bummer because I love zucchinis, especially in soup. But otherwise, yeah, for now, this is a good. I'm just going to chuck in the two chicken breast. And that will just do its thing. And then also near the end, we'll shred the chicken. All right, so it's been in for four and a half hours. All right, so it's been in for four and a half hours. It smells so good. I'm gonna take out these chicken breasts and get them shredded. Um. Look at that, it's just falling off. That's so good. Make sure the veggies, yep, they're nice and soft. So we're going to show this chicken, add in the last ingredients, and then probably wait maybe an hour, and then we'll serve up dinner. So to show this chicken, I'm just going to try and use just the tongs and my fingers. 
Nope, that's too hot. <laughs> so, we'll get a fork. That's short lived. <laughs> yeah. All right, so last few ingredients is some frozen peas. Again, all these vegetables are optional. It's just whatever you have. I quite like peas, so we're gonna add some. Probably about a half a cup is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna return all of the chicken. I normally add in a teaspoon or two of fish sauce, but I don't have any, so I'm going to go with a teaspoon or two, or probably like a tablespoon of soy sauce normally i do soy sauce and fish sauce but yeah just the soy sauce today and i'm shaking up a can of light coconut milk to add as well and obviously with just like regular chicken vegetable soup it's not creamy based but we're adding the coconut milk for me it just gives it a really nice flavor plus there's more water and well stock i should say in here so it's it's not a creamy texture it's just a really nice flavor. So we'll mix that in. And now I'm gonna add in some risoni, probably about a cup or two, or maybe just about a cup of dried risoni. I don't like too much noodles. Am I ready? These are my go-to pasta for when I make a noodle soup. Um, but yeah, I don't like too many in there for me personally. I'm going to keep this on low and yeah, I reckon about 30 minutes. The pea should be nice and heated through. And the pasta should be nice and swelled up. Alright, so dinner's all ready. Um, it looks exactly the same as before. It's just now everything's heated through and the pasta or the noodles is done. So served up our bowls. And also with um, dinner, we're going to be serving it with some... These are the entertainment crusty rolls from Carl's. I just sliced them down in like four or five slices. Uh, both kind of got shut on. I hope says we're doing that. Is it recording? Nick got a new phone, so... The camera is so good. Way better than my phone. Ooh. So... Uh, future thumbnails are most likely going to be coming from his camera <laughs> especially when it's low light like right now as you can see this lighting is just ain't it with this camera but it ain't it, <laughs> it, ain't it. so soup obviously I'm kind of not going to tilt that I'm going to do a taste test some bits of these chickens I left quite big and then some bits are nice and fine alright this is kind of hard to do but yeah, you kind of can't see it. It's soup. But I got a piece of celery, chicken, onion, carrot, broth. Oh, yuck. Yeah. It's like an ASMR channel. Oh, <laughs> fucking gross. <laughs> Carrot's a little tough, to be honest. Oopsie. Ooh. Ooh, hot. Mm. Back to the garbo lighting in it. That's okay. The flavour. Carrots are a bit tough though. Oopsie, but that's okay. So now I'm just dunking the roll. The roll's stale, but it's alright. I really do like the broth of this though. I think. I think you should it, talk when your mouth isn't full. Apologies. I think it's a coconut milk that just makes it really good. <clears throat> Sweet potato. How long are you going to be, honey? That's real. I'm going to stop the door. Potatoes cooked perfect. But I do have to say, it is nice to be back in making a video and sharing a recipe. Mm. My Rona version is definitely coming back, which is good. Oh! I 
the laptop. All right, last bite. <clears throat> it's got celery, I think, or oh, that's onion, white potato, a piece of chicken, and some broth. Yeah, the only veggie that's not cooked, so like all the way, is the carrot. But it's fine, it's still delicious. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I can feel I've got her over my tooth. But thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below. Also, let me know in the comments what's your favorite soup because I never used to be a big soup eater. But the past, I'll say, year, I've actually really enjoying soups. So, let me know what's your favorite soup. Because I want to expand the different types of soups that I've tried. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.